Come on, come on, come on, come on. everybody give me one second grilling and chilling with mojo give me a second here um <laughs> look at that grilling and chilling with mojo look at those look at those ribs right there okay i gotta turn this on the screen here so i can kind of see what the heck's going on what is going on everybody good morning I'm here. Um, let's try this out. Alexa, turn on grill light. Let's get some light on this uh, subject here. Bright, right? It's kind of blinking. Okay. I have my sous vide, my refrigerator, my TV, my computer all on one circuit, and my sous vide is causing the light to flicker. So let's see if that's rough on the. A uh, little bit, not too bad. Good morning, everybody. Crazy Ann shared my video. I appreciate that. Let's see. We got four comments going on here. Crazy Ann, good morning. Shalane Stinkin Fernandez. Everybody that's on here right now, uh, say good morning to Shalane. Shalane, I'm going to get this uh, light turned off here in a few minutes. So sorry about the haziness. But uh, my niece, that's my niece. My niece, Shalane, is in the house. And Shay, oh, no, that's she radiant. Sorry about that. Thought you were my niece. Jerry is in the house. My brother's in the house. Uh, we, got, we got a handful of people in the house. Hi, this is Grilling and Chilling with Mojo. I'm Mojo. This is my deck back here in the backyard, and I appreciate you stopping by. Today, we are Suveen. Come and check this out. We are sous vide some steak, yo. We're having steak, eggs, and potatoes for breakfast. But this steak, let me tell you about that steak right there. That steak, gosh, this camera's driving me nuts. Hey, what's up, everybody? That This steak, so is this light. This light is driving me absolutely bonkers. We're having, like, hopefully the power doesn't blow out. We're having a storm right now. So... The steak, I've had it marinated in some marinade that's in the kitchen. And I don't even know what kind of uh, marinade it is. It's just some garlic and different herbs. I just bought it from the store just because I didn't have time to um, do that real quick. But uh, it's going to be super amazing. I've got some potatoes already going because potatoes take a little bit longer. And we have a piece of hair. Nothing like having a piece of hair. Excuse me, excuse me, sir, but I got a piece of hair in my food. Take it out, eat the eat the food. It ain't going to kill you. The You know, it's just cooked. If there's no, yeah, yeah. Use it as dental floss. Okay, so what, what, what was I talking about? Because I'm all ADD, ADD in right now. Um, so, turn that down. Um, yeah, so the steak marinated. You know, I put it in about 10 o'clock last night. Two hours. This steaks have been cooking for two hours at a, at 130 degrees in the bed of wash. In the bed of wash. In a bed of wash? What is that? What does that mean? In a bed. amazing so um 
Who else is in the house? Oh, party cloud? Partly cloudy? Partly cloud? Part? Do you like? Why can't I talk? Stop eating, Stop eating the edibles. Hey, here, let's give it a little ring ring here, guys. No, the dog's going to bark. Ding, ding. There we go. Okay. Partly cloudy 420 is in the house. Thank you for stopping in, sir. I appreciate it. You guys are amazing. Um, is my niece still in here? You guys, everybody say hi to my niece, Shalane Fernandez. Super amazing uh, human being, niece, person. Super amazing. She's awesome. So say hi to her. Let's get back to this. Let's go over our groceries. How about that? Let's go over our groceries and get these going. And. me okay because this is kind of important if you have not uh use gator shake on your veggies you can thank me later it's 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 a game changer so let's like do something here let's like crank you up a little bit what am i hearing do you hear something is that that yeah. got a mess out here it's a little like Little little cloudy. Now I'm really high there. There we go. Let's turn you down a little bit there. Yes. Okay, so let's go ahead and get all this started. I'm going to get these potatoes done. I've got the right side totally cranked down. Um, I need the skillet. I got a skillet up here. And that skillet is going to be for... Uh, it's going to be for the mushrooms, the white onions... Uh, what am I putting in there? Um, some butter, garlic, a little bit of thyme, and a little bit of beer. And that is going to be coated over that steak, yo. I mean, steak and eggs for breakfast. What? I know. It's going to be amazing. I hope, because it's kind of an experiment going on in the bag right there. So, not going to lie. Which I wouldn't anyways, but whatever. Okay, these potatoes are doing really good. So they, they got a head start on these potatoes. And I'm going to let them cook a little bit longer underneath the uh, lid here. Say hi to some people here. Uh, a little bit more pepper. We're going to go with a little bit of gator. Why more pepper? Because it's good? No, because I can. Okay. Why no salt? No, because I oversalt shit. That's why. And I, I get I get really upset. Who do we got in the chat here? Oh, I'm gonna throw this link out there if somebody wants to like um, say hi or whatever. I can. I need to. I need to put the chat up there. There you go. That's if somebody wants to pop in. Um, I'm going to come over here real quick. I got to put the chat up here on my uh, TV. So we go down here like this, like this, bam. There we go. Chat's on the TV. Chat's on the TV. <laughs> okay. What would you say? All right. Hey, coffee is done. Right here, you guys. Check this out. If I burn myself. Best way to have coffee. Look at that percolating still. Whew. 
That's the best way to have coffee. This coffee is so amazing. I have one more filter left for that coffee pot. I need to go on um, Amazon and order some. I hope everybody ha is having a pre-amazing uh, Christmas because, you know, times have been tough for a lot of people. And I just hope everybody is having an amazing holiday. Um, I, I, <laughs> I told my wife yesterday, I'm like, babe. And I did. I said, babe, uh, we should have just not bought stuff for each other. And she goes, gosh, you're greedy. And I go, what? <laughs> I'm greedy. No, I'm not being greedy. It's just uh, I don't think we should buy Just focus on the kids and, you know, get ready for what, you know, our plans are. But we're, we're buying gifts for each other. I already uh, I'm buying something from a, an amazing YouTuber. Um, and he's making something for me and sending it to me. All right, let's get back to this cooking here. This light is driving me nuts. I hope, hopefully, it's not driving you guys nuts. All right, we're gonna put some veggies on. These about ready. Let's test, check the tenderness on these. Yeah, a little bit more oil. I want to get these crispied up really good. Okay, so I gotta be really careful here. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna open up this beer. Do I have? One over here, or do I have to go over there? Uh, you know, I know I have something here somewhere. I have multiple bottle openers here, but I'm gonna go over to this guy. Okay, this is gonna be for cooking. I know, right, Guinness? I don't know how that's gonna work out, but that's all I had. Okay, um, mom, 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 let's do the veggies. Let's move you over here. Yeah, that light is just driving me nuts. If I turn it off, I think I'm pretty much can turn it off anytime. I want this skillet to get hot. All right, let's do these veggies. Did you just like laugh at me? No, somebody said aha. Uh -huh. We have Cameron in the house, yo. Hey, Cameron, you want to say hi? Just say hi. There's there's Cameron. He just woke up over there. He just woke up. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan. Hey, Lieutenant Dan. Oh, no. All right, let's get some onions in there. I kind of made these onions a little bit thicker cut because it's like they're nice when they're fried up. Um, it's just a regular uh, yellow onion. And what do we got here? Cooking with Stephen and Jacqueline. Good to see you. Mojo, I see wandering fingers in your groceries. <laughs> wandering fingers. Um, good to see you, Matt J. Boozy. Good to see you. Let's see. Who else did I miss? Yes, best coffee. Shalane, you don't even know. That coffee is the best, yo. What's that? Is what ready? Oh, the coffee? Yeah, the coffee's ready. Coffee is ready. What is that? You can ask. You can talk. It's okay. What is this? So this guy over here, we call him Pockets. Right there, that guy. He's wondering what that is. Do you know what that is? Or what's in there? What's in here or what is this? I made what? Did I really? Is that like some... No, don't say that. Is, that is it like water? It can't be because I filled that thing up. Did you let it set? I did. Don't open it. It's going to explode. Okay, whatever, dude. It's not weak. I don't have time for weak coffee. All right. Um, so what? So you asked a question over there. I just left people hanging. You know what's in there? It's steak. Um, it is. Is it? Gosh, I can't remember the cut. Because I just grabbed some steak that were cheap, cheap steaks. 
So it's a cheaper steak. And I'm going to make the cheap steak taste amazing. And that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, and I can't, I, I'm telling you, because when, when I go shopping and I'm tired, it's Friday, I'm grabbing stuff and I'm throwing it. I can't even remember what that was. And, oh, you're awesome, dude. What um, something else was that I'm cooking here. And um, yeah, and then I just throw it in the fridge and I go to bed and I wake up three hours later. And then I go online. What oh, this? Oh, not in any, no, this ain't even the, it's not even yet. Um, it's a, uh, what kind of steak is that? Gosh, dang it. That's bugging me now. What's that? Weather sucks. <laughs> Weather sucks? Is, is the weather weird? Uh, sorry, guys. I'm walking away for a second because this is really bugging me because I want to know. Yeah. I can't even, I don't even, I don't even know. My, my wife got a lot of shit together. Whoops, stuff together. All right. Do I need anything in here? I need to get back to, I've got live YouTube going on and I walk away from the camera. What is up with that, you guys? Let's go back out here. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I don't know what cut that steak is. Oh my God. Now it's starting to get a little chilly out here, bro. All right. Can I turn off my light yet? Alexa, turn off real light. Let's see how it looks. How's that lighting? Is that lighting okay? Can you guys live with that? I think so. I think that's good. All right. What we got here. What we got here is a failure to communicate. I think that fuel is like dying on you. I had rib ribeye and eggs this morning. Dude, nice. It's a good cut there. I went cheap. So, Matt, you, a lot of guys, um, I uh, that's what it was, is that uh, marinara, 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 marinade sauce. I am so, dude, this is what happens when you go to bed at like one o'clock in the morning, you get up at five and you do all your things and your brain just does not function. And I'm just now sipping my first cup of coffee. That coffee's good. It's not bad. Why you got to mess with me like that? Um, so, uh, marinated for like, you know, all night last night, five hours or so. And then sous vide and that steak for about two hours. And we're going to sear that um at 600 degrees on that barbecue behind me so let's get this going let's get all this food ready to go i think it's about time i need to uh make sure this skillet is getting hot i need a hot skillet need some butter in that bad boy where's where's my knife i don't have a knife out here <sighs> yeah the sore weather's gonna suck today and tomorrow and the next day it's just if you i don't know if you guys can hear the rain behind me but it's, it's pouring down rain right now put some butter in there get that melted um let's put some uh mushrooms in these veggies i need more real estate I'm going to, when I eventually sell this house and go get my other new place, I am going to have another barbecuer and I'm going to have a lot of real estate um, for the, uh, grill, Blackstone. All right. Uh, 28 inch, I want to say this is three burner. The next size up is the larger one. Okay, veggies. We got the veggies on here. Check this out. This is really important, you guys. <laughs> well, that's what she said.
So check it out. That's the nice thing about a sous vide, right? So the steaks are done. They've been in there for about a couple hours. And when I'm ready to use them, I'm just going to take them out of there, pat them dry, sear them, you know, and I'm going to put my goodness on it that I'm making over here. And uh, they're going to be super amazing. So when you're ready for the steak, they're pretty much already made and it's only going to take two minutes to cook them. So um, that's what I like about the sous vide. I mean, yeah, it's nice to cook them on a grill, you know, and however you want to offset them, cook them, slow cook them, whatever, you know, however you want them. But it's set at 130. So that means those are medium rare steaks. So just thought I'd share that with you. Shalane, no sound again. What? Just know that sometimes there's no sound for a bit. Really? What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Am I, is my sound really cutting in and out? So is my sound okay, you guys? Is it just because it was cutting in and out when I went in the house? I need to know. Why is that? That has happened before. Okay, let me know, guys, before I start cooking again. Talk to me. How's my sound? I don't know why. I don't know why. Rarely. Okay, so did it here, just to be on the safe side, because I'm having a feeling I'm having a problem with this little guy. We're gonna we're gonna add another one to it, just like this. Seems like when you go to the other camera. Oh, really? We'll swap this real quick. Testing. I'll turn this guy off. Only when I go to the other camera. We are having difficulties. That's what happens when you go live, you guys. All kinds of good stuff. How's that sound? Can you hear me okay? Let me pop this up. My mic. Audio. Testing. Oh, I'm seeing it. All right. So I swapped that. All right. So let's go ahead. It's raining in here big time. Only when I come over there. Is it really? I can't be losing that much on it. I'm going to have to test my microphone out and play with it. A little bit of garlic going in here with the potatoes, right? I don't want too much garlic. Weather is amazing right now, you guys. We are storming it out here. And this is what I'm talking about um, out here on the deck. It doesn't matter if it's snowing, raining, or blizzarding, huh? If it's, if it's zero degrees and it's hailing out here, guess what? I'm cooking on my deck. I hope my volume is good, you guys. All right, so we're about ready there. These are ready to go to the side. I think I'm a, I need more butter. We're going more butter in this bad boy over here. More butter. Dude, this weather is just dumb. And uh, if you're like me, you like to shop on Amazon for Christmas instead of like the malls and stuff, but um, I don't get to go on Amazon because my wife said I'm kicked off because she shops every year. And every year I can't shop on Amazon, but we're going to go all the butter. There we go. Okay. Um, let's get these potatoes and everything. I don't know if you guys can see what's going on here. Let's check this out. Woo!
Oh, I understand. I totally understand now. Okay. My bad. Like, I'm new at this, right? No. So when I take myself, this camera off of StreamYard, there's no sound because I've got the mic mute, muted over there. My bad. Sorry. Okay. I'm over here talking to myself forever, and you guys are not hearing a single word I'm saying. I'm not going to do that again. I apologize. Hey, look who's in the house. We got Turlo's Garage in the house and Mr. Mega. What? Zeppelin. Dude, are you kidding? Welcome back. It's been a while, bro. I saw you, I think, last week. I, I said hi to you, but good to see you, man. Thank you for stopping in again. Man, you know, I'm over here trying to be done with my sound right now. It's kind of awesome. And that's what happens when you're tired because your brain's not thinking. So awesome stuff there. That's how I can do it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at what I just learned. Right? Now you can hear me. You can see my stuff. Because I'm in the chat. Or in the uh, stream yard there. With my other camera. All right. All right. So we have some butter oil going on here. Um, let's do this. Let's go. We're going to drop some. Um, it's probably too much stuff. It's all right. Some uh, mushrooms. Get those cooked up going. I'm gonna turn on this back burner. Get this. Get this guy going. Behind me here. <laughs> Luca, Luca. That's all. I, <laughs> that's hilarious. All right. Let's get this uh, barbecue going. It's been a minute since I've had this on. All right, one more. All right, so we're going to crank this uh, barbecue up behind me here. Sorry, I'm not in the picture to you guys. Get that cranked up. And we're raining. I need a, I need a towel out here. Okay. Let's do this real quick, guys. Sorry about that. Um, white onions. Get these going. We need some garlic in there. Let's have some onions in there. So these are white onions going in here. Really can't have too much because I just one one. I think that's enough. It's good enough. Um, I'm not ready for my garlic yet. I need this on a higher temperature. Come on, the dark where I'm at. Pretty much. Come on. I'll take care of that real quick. Watch this. Hot pan. Ow. Go over here. Let's swap you around here. Sorry about that. Okay. Save me some. I'm on my way. Rock on. Dude. Hey. Um, Fred Zeppelin. Dude. You haven't even, you haven't, you don't even know yet. Wait till you see this. I told my buddy that he needs to, what did I tell you? What did I tell you need to do? No, no, none of that. This is a, a PG. I told him that I, I should have put more, uh, hey, um, I told him to bring, something to be for leftovers because there's going to be a lot of leftovers what is going on over here 
<laughs> you give up. Um, some of that. Okay, let's go ahead and throw some garlic in there. <sighs> garlic, right? That's enough. Garlic. A little bit of time. Because we got time. Time keeps on ticking. Ooh, that's plenty of time. Quarter teaspoon, roughly. Don't dump too much in there. We're going to have to get these steaks out of here pretty soon. Get these all going here. And this is going to be the stuff that's going on top of the... Uh, the steaks. We're not done. Check this out, you guys. I'm going to get this temperature up, cranked up there pretty good. Watch what I'm going to do here. And I, This is like, you know, only because it's all I really have to throw in this. I wanted a lager beer, but whatever. Okay. Come on, get up there, crank up there, temperature. That's my buddy's dog. It's a puppy. <laughs> He's like, no, it's not. All right, come on, temperature. Ready? Here we go. A little bit of beer. Got some beer in there. And it's Guinness. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out, but I'm sure it's going to be yummy. And then we're going to let that simmer down a little bit. Simmer down. All right. Okay. Okay, now let's go ahead and check out these steaks. We're cranked up. We're 400 degrees right now. We're 400. Yeah, right? I'm playing right now. Sorry, guys. All right. Um, so, I hope this beer does okay cooking in this. You know? You know what I'm saying? I think it will be. Okay. We are going to turn that down now. We need to cook eggs here soon. Turn that all the way down. Um, let me turn those down. Let's go ahead and wipe this grill because it's been a minute. It needs just a, a tad wipe on it. All right, guys, just a second. I'll get back to you. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit of oil on this. I need something else. Do you want to grab me something? Do you mind? Right on the counter right there, right where my underneath my spices is my uh, um, spray, all oil spray, chosen foods. I know you like my door. All right, guys, let's crank this up. Is this cranked? I need this to be up there at about 500, at least 500 degrees. We're going to get these steaks going. Okay, let's check these steaks out. Get this out of the way. Get these out of the way. That dog is loud. Go ahead. Chosen Foods. It's not one of my sponsors, but it's great stuff. All right, I'm smelling heat. Smelling the heat. I got a mess behind me. Okay, that's for the steaks. We're getting these steaks out right now. We're gonna about ready to sear them up. I need um, 
Where's my scraper at? We are going to, I don't know if I want to do these eggs. Because I don't want a cold steak, right? So, but if I cook the steaks. Okay, I'm going to cook the eggs on here first. I've got this super low. And then I'll do those. That's what I'll do. That's off. That's there. That's there. Okay. Because it's kind of, it kind of, I want things to come all at, out at once. And we're going to turn this off. Check this out. Sorry about this, you guys. You can see me here. Um, so we're going to take this off. Sous vide's are awesome, you guys. I'm not going to lie. They're really, really nice. They're really awesome. And um, they're just a, a nice way to cook. 130. Same 130. The lower temperature. That's why my hands were able to go in there. Okay, these steaks are done. All I have to do is get over here. Is uh, sear them up. Okay. Thought I had more spoons over here. All right, let's get this sweating us off. I need those scissors. Okay. Eggs first? What? What are we doing first, dude? Eggs before the steak goes on? Because it's going to take us just a second. I got that. Where are we at? We're uh, 500 degrees. Um, I'm going to give those a second. Let that crank up. Let's do some eggs real quick. And these eggs need to be cooked really low. I'm going to turn this middle one off. Oh, we're, we're dying over here, too, with the beer. That stuff's done. This is what happens when you're multi, when you got three, three things going on at once. That's done. I need to put this, the hot, hot up there to stay warm. And let's do some eggs. Where's my eggs? Down here in the fridge. Are these things like starting to freeze in there? We're gonna get back to the uh, steak here in just a second. I'm just slapping some eggs down real quick. How many eggs should I put on here? Did you see a dude come out here? Where's he at? You know he wants some breakfast. Yeah. Really? Oh, is he playing? I wonder if he's got something going on today. All right, guys. Sorry, I'm not in the chat real quick. I've got a, a moment. Do we have anybody in, down there? Nope. I threw the link if anybody wants to come up and talk. Next Saturday, what? All right. I threw the link up there if anybody wants to come up. Um, this is going to start coming out really quick here, you guys. My eggs are going to be... I need more oil down here. All right, so a um, uh, little bit of this. A little bit of salt. And I need to move those eggs over when I'm not. Okay, these, this onion mixture turned out really good, you guys. Okay. We're about ready to do these steaks here in one second. Okay. Don't move eggs. Cook slow. Cook nice and slow. There we go. Eggs are kind of cooking slow now. A 
Well, good morning, baby doll. My wife just came out. My eggs, I'm killing my eggs, by the way. I'm not liking that. All right. I'm going to watch my eggs before I go to the steak, you guys, because the steak literally is, like, is only going to take a minute. Now, see how those are like dark like that? I am not a fan of that. I'm killing my eggs right now. That's okay. Not good presentation. All right, stay there. All right, we got some eggs going there. Temperatures all the way down. Is that your baby girl call, calling you? I want another egg over here. Okay, let's get over here and talk about this. These steaks. We're looking at, we're 600 degrees. We're ready to rock and roll here, you guys. All right, so um, I need to pat dry these bad boys. All right, here we go. Let's go and do this real quick. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see or not. Can you see okay? Let's take the steak out. All the steaks are going to be absolutely amazing. My name is Luca. Ooh, they smell delicious. Make it a mess. All right, so how does Gouda say that? They don't look good now, but they will soon. All right, guys, give me a second. Give me a second. Let's get this going. Our temperature is there now. So it's going to give us a better sear doing this. They don't look good now, but they're going to in a second. How's my eggs looking? All right. Let's go ahead and do this. Here we go, guys. Let's smoke this boy. We're at 600 degrees. And we're going. Here we go. Ready? Actually, no. Why are you not spraying? Okay, here we go, guys. Get those searing. Out, out, get out of here. My uh, my spray did not spray very well. I sprayed a straight, straight shot. Hey, babe, I don't know where my tongs are, but they're not making them. To Where's she at? Hey, but they're not making them to me, my my tongs. So I don't know where they're at. My eggs are dying. All right, how are we looking here? We're getting there. A couple seconds in, turning just a little bit. I'm going to flip them. Get some good cross marks going. And you guys ready for this? I just learned something about audio, babe, like I'm new or something. All right, we're done there. Look at that. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. Take a look at that. Holy how about her. Give that a second. Attend to my eggs. They're okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got six eggs gone. 
don't you? Just swap that. Turn that. All right, our food is done, you guys. First things out. Out. Here we go. Sorry, I can't attend to the chat. And how are we looking here? Let's get a little bit more sear going. Come on. What's that? Okay, hold time out, guys. Everybody here. Just a second, okay? I got to come over here to my wife. What's that? <laughs> what did you say? What did you say? Go away. Go, go away. <laughs> she goes, you, you don't need the cookie. You just need to sear it. I'm going to have you start cooking that, that uh, sous vide. There we go. That's good enough. All right, we have one there. All right, let's go. Let's turn off these uh, burners. God, look at that, you guys. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? All right, I want to try to get this, this done quick because I don't want the food to get cold, and that's what's going to happen if I don't hurry up. Eggs are done. Eggs are done, but they're not beautiful. Picture beautiful. How many eggs do you like? Two? Three? Huh? 50. Oh, shoot. I need my uh, my stuff on top of these. Oh, these potatoes are so good. I'm not going to lie. You might want to get some hot sauce over towards you. Spoon. I need a spoon. Okay. Here we go. Let's get some of this on here. And I should, you know, I should have cooked. You can cook this on there. I, I'm not cooking the steak, so... In the on the grill, so it's different when I sous vide it. It's already cooked, so I'm not gonna butter it. It's got butter and stuff on there. And let's check it out. I need a fork. I need a knife, and I need this to go like this. And let's go pow. We're actually going to remove this guy. <laughs> Look at this, you guys. Look at that freaking steak. Can you see that? Man, amazing. Look at that. You want some hot sauce? What kind? Mule sauce or Tabasco sweet? You don't know? I got some uh, amazing sauce. There you go, sir. <laughs> yep. All right. So this is my turn, you guys. What's going on over here? Let's go get some of these onions and uh, what do you call them? Mushrooms. A little beer. I hope that beer did okay, babe. Um, I couldn't find the beer I wanted last night. So I had to use... Uh, that dark beer I had, I don't know how that would be cooking, you know? You know what I'm saying? My eggs aren't the beautifulest eggs in the world, but they work. Butter. Why butter? Huh? Why butter? Butter's flavor, huh? Yeah, that middle lane, <laughs> right? I want like a couple more eggs. So we're going to put some of this in there. And you guys, I want to hear it. I want it, I want you to taste that, that, uh, that uh, steak there, buddy. So there you go, you guys. Check that. Was that steak huge or what? Uh, oh, my brother. I am so sorry. You know, I'm just looking out. The... Jerry said hi. Really, really good. It's my brother, Jerry. What? Is it good? How is the tender? I need. I kind of need to know about the tenderness of that steak. Is it pretty tender or is it, is it okay? Because I'm going to try because... Um... No. So it is a cheaper steak. 
Um, I'm almost wondering if I sous vide this like a little bit longer. No, it's not bad. That's not bad. It's oh, that's actually really good. Wow, you guys. And that is because I have a napkin. I got an egg cooker over here that I need to move because I'm going to throw some more. What is? The bacon? Yeah, I know. Oh. My bad. How are the potatoes? I don't know. I think some of them are could have cooked a little longer. Yeah, so potatoes. I'm gonna put some of that sauce on there. Yeah. All right, I'm back to the chat for a second. I love you, bro. I'm sorry. Hey Shirlane, I don't know if you're still in here. Jerry B. That's my brother, Jerry. Butter makes everything better. Yeah, you can say hi. So, uh, dude, that steak is actually really good. Cheap steak. And um, this hot sauce I'm putting on here, it's already got a little kick on the potatoes. Because I put a jalapeno in there. It's sweet and spicy. It's not really spicy, but it gives a little sweetness, right? A little sweet, a little spicy. Did you put some of this on there? Yeah. Yep. And? And what? And what? And it's amazing. Okay. My coffee's cold as usual. Dude, that steak. That steak. I want you to look at that steak. Cut it, and I want you to see how that steak is cooked. How how it's perfectly cooked. Rare. Did you see that? Did you see that? My eggs aren't the perfect because I can't cook eggs and try to attend to a steak. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. We got an egg cooking over here, guys. Um. We're going to take this guy off. My phone. And um, you see that? If I can attend to my eggs, I can make some pretty decent eggs. But I want like a couple more eggs. You want a couple more eggs? Huh? You good? Or you do? Is that a branch that just fell? Give me a second. I'm come say hi to the chat here in a second, you guys. My toes are cold. Dude, that food is really, really good. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> Holy moly. Guacamole. Come over here, you guys. I'm going to move you here. Just like this. Sorry about that. Come on. What do we got going on here? There. There we go. Hello. Hello, everybody. Um, these pop-ups are getting right, right in my way. Trumpet Master. What's up, Trumpet Master out there? I haven't seen him in a minute. Um, Shark, you in here? No more eggs for me? Oh, I got eggs. Hey, you want to come up? Anybody want to come up? There's my link to come up. Why don't you come up and say hi? Even my niece, Shalane, you can come up and say hi. You know, <clears throat> is it real good? 
That steak actually is really good, dude. That is a cheap steak, and that's what sous vide can do to a cheap steak. You know? So, what do we got in here? Hi, Mojo. Hope you're uh, well, matey. That's Mark's Beers Reviews. Hey, I'm doing swell, sir. It's uh, I mean, I mean, look at that steak I'm eating right now. Super big steak going on here. Um, kind of soaked in some marinade, marinade, marinated it last night for five hours. And sorry about my potatoes. There's some potatoes that aren't cooked all the way. Are they? There's just a few potatoes, but I, I, I critique my food. You guys, oh man, these this this is good. I'm <laughs> fucking good, dude. Wow, that is good, right? All right. Um, where's my knife? So, no way. I'd I'd scare everyone right now. Well, you can come up here and you can like take your camera view off so your view's not there. So, Shalane, come up here and then I'll just hear your voice. Try it out. <clears throat> it's fun because you're going to have to do this when your boys, you know, when I, I'm going to end up doing a, uh, a little cook with, with her boys, my little nephews. And, um, it's going to be really fun. They're going to interact and then come out here and they're going to cook and stuff. So that's going to come, you know, who knows? It could be any time. Dude, that could, I like the, the way the steak is perfectly cooked, dude. And then um, this, what I put on it is, how do you like the, the veggies I put on it? <laughs> really? Tell me about it. Hmm. Well, that's part of the gristle, gristle. All right. So I love my breakfast. So here's a couple more eggs. Turning that off. Oh, shut up. Add your stream. Add your stream. Oh, okay. All right, you don't have to have your view. Oh, did you go in there? And, oh, are you that and, scared? <laughs> what? Did you go in there and turn your camera sideways? I don't know how to phone. Take, I don't know. What yep, just funny. like that. Hey. Um, but you don't. Hey, this is my niece, Shark. Hey. Hey. This is Shalane. Why don't you tell them who you are and what you are, Shalane? I'm Shalane. I'm a. I'm a mom with kids. <laughs> yeah, I'm a mom with two boys. Crazy boys. Nice. And what else? Bella, I think Bella, like, recognized your voice. She kept coming over to the camera. Oh, really? Yeah. So Bella used to be my dog, and then Bella became a care dog, right? Is that how we say that? She became hey, my what? dog. Yeah, what would you say? She became my dog. Oh, I know. Like a care dog. Yeah, she is our care dog. So... Oh. Bella's amazing. She's a, a brown lab. And uh, I think it was just the right timing and everything. You know, mm -hmm. that's just my goal. Hey, did you see that steak, dude? You see how big that steak was? Yeah, what the heck? Are you eating dinner and the breakfast. Dude. Yeah, so I told my buddy, I was like, you know, my buddy that, over, that cackles over here, you know? Yeah. The peanut gallery. He, yep. He, uh, he, um, I told him, I'm like, dude. Make sure you bring uh, something for leftovers because you're going to have leftovers. I didn't say bring something, but I said leftovers. Yeah. But uh, how yeah, was your morning, dude? Uh, well, going to bed late for some reason. Somebody kept me on late last night. I, I told you. I'm like, dude, you're crazy. I'm going to bed right now. <laughs> yeah, I think I stayed a half hour, hour longer. Well, I started, no talking, to, I started talking to Kathy and uh, so it's like. No, she'll go on and on and on. Yeah. I mean, now which was fine. I mean, it was fine. It was a good conversation. Yeah. So, so yeah, you no. do you realize where you're at, right, Shalane? What's that? The whole world can see you right now. Oh, wonderful. 
<laughs> so when are you gonna do a like a late afternoon or later time for the boys? Did you guys hear that bang? Moj? Yeah, he didn't hear Not you. Not too bad. You got most of it. <laughs> oh, Joe. He did. He dropped his plate on the floor. Oh, no. But he got most of it. He's disappointed. He's looking at it going, no. Because you're cutting away wanting that bite because you know when you're cutting, that bite's going to be good, right? And now it's all the way down on the floor. But it's all right. So what did you say? What time for your, your boys? I said you got to do a later time for the boys. There's oh, you know, you know, your boys can come over here anytime and I'll do a live. It could be yeah. breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Shy, it's um, really hard whatever. to get him to want to be interested, but he, I guess he watched one of your show, your videos or whatever, and he's like, yeah, I'll go. So he wants to go. If he says Both yes, he, he really wants to do it. Really? Yeah. So we got to get over there. Wouldn't that be cool, Shark? Yeah. Having uh, some uh, youngins. How old are they? 14 and 11. Oh, my gosh. 14. Yeah. Holy hell. Oh, yeah. I, I, you can't handle that, Mojo. <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> no way. He's crazier than my boys. <laughs> you get the three of them together? Yeah, that's just. Yeah. Oh, look, you guys at, like look at the picture shirt, now. They won't be the same. They're going to be scared of him. <laughs> All right. Do you guys like my shirt? Can you read it? Oh, my God. Uh, what? Anyway, I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun chatting. And no, it's fun you're not. Uh, you. It's fun watching you when I'm going to come over. every. You're not going. I didn't I'm realizing I should have just, like, the moment I got up inside, I should have got ready or just stay in my pajamas and run over there. But I think you're, what, like, five, th 40 minutes away from 30, me? Yeah, 30. 35. Okay. Dude. Not that bad. Yeah. Okay. Um, right. Why are you saying you got to go? Because I have a lot to do today. No, you're going to get I off and you're going to sit there and drink your coffee. <laughs> right? I'm a mom of two boys. Yeah. Got to go. Yeah. Gotta go. Yeah. yeah. I totally, I brought I some. Um, Saturdays off and I got a Saturday off. So. Oh, that's, that's right. She's actually a really hard worker. She, you know, takes, <laughs> she's kind of a single mom, right? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Did I just told, tell the whole world you're single? Am I really? I should have took, I don't even know how to take the camera off. I don't even know how I got it. <laughs> no, you're good. You're okay. On the very, on the very bottom, this is leave. Hit that button. Okay, I got to get no. out of here. <laughs> Just hit it. Just hit it. He, he, he's used to it. He's, world. He's, he's used to it. Everybody dropping out on him. All right. Love you. I'm coming next time. Hey, I love you so much, too. Okay. Have a good hey, day. Hey, wait, wait. Don't leave. One minute. One second. Say okay. hi to this guy, Shalane. Look. What up? Oh, no. Joey is in the house. Hey, Joey. Joey. What's up, Take a look Joey? at my, uh, that's my niece. Shalane. Right how do you say that? Shalane? Shalane. Shalane. How you doing, Shalane? Good. How are you? <laughs> Not bad, man. I just uh, I took a took a quick nap. I got up at like seven, and then uh, I, I don't know, know right? Like, just a wake and bag. Just said fuck it, took a nap real quick. It felt good though. It was a rejuvenating nap. It's just rainy <laughs> outside. It's like really really wet outside, bro. So it's like it's one of those weathers you just kind of have to take a nap. You know what I mean? So Shalane, he's two hours away. So it's like yeah. eight, nine. It's nine, three. nine ten, three, three hours. hours away. Eight, yeah. nine, wow. ten. Yeah, it's eleven something over there. Almost noon. 11 yeah. yeah, it's about lunchtime, bro. It's about wait, what's today? Saturday? Oh, it's not Monday. Fuck, I was gonna get a steak. You know, like, <laughs> uh, there's no there's no uh there's no local games on today, I don't think. What time's the the fucking BCS start? Uh, I don't know. All I know is um, I'm gonna take probably, a nap after probably, I eat this breakfast. It's probably tonight. It's probably gonna be what on you, prime what time. What you make for breakfast, Mojo? What do you got there, buddy? Freaking you eight course meal. This big. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. He's eating half a cow. Man, that's a oh, yeah. Fucking, you ain't going to be able to eat all that, bro. Why'd you make all that food, man? How many people you got there? Well, he, he was got five people all over him, and he just dropped his shit all over the, all over the deck, man. Oh. Well, give give some of those dogs, those local dogs that are running. He always got like three or four dogs and five or four people off camera, bro. Yeah, just there's there's guys. a few of them in here. It was nice meeting you guys. Gotta go. Hey, hey, take it easy now. hey I love you. Love you, too. I'll see you next time. I'll try to make it. You know you're amazing, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're amazing All too. Right. All right. All right. Love you. Bye bye. Love you. bye.
yeah, so um, she uh, battled uh, cancer a couple of years ago, a few years ago. Oh, good. Okay, no sugar for yeah, her. Yeah, like maybe even four years ago. It's been a little while. And then all kinds of other garbage that went with it. So she went through a lot of hell, man. And um, that's why that dog was a care dog that I gave her. Oh, okay. Okay. Like one of those uh, service dogs or emergency no, support dogs. Or just, uh, emotional support dogs, something like that? Yeah. Yeah. And it was a uh, chocolate lab. Beautiful dog. And now oh, labs are cute, man. They're good pups. They get, they get so fat, though, if you overeat it. That's what I think, dude. It's like... If I got a dog, I gotta feed that fucker, bro. I'm always gonna feed him like. Yep, I know. Take it, shit, cause they beg, and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna deny him access to food. Those dogs like that shit, bro. So it's like I don't want to get one of those dogs that's gonna be like, you know, cause that dog be overweight as fuck. I feel guilty and shit. So right. You more like the she German shepherds and those kind of dogs. They don't tend to eat overeat as much. Or if they do, they don't keep. They don't. Yeah, they keep it a little better. Yeah. I guess any dog will overeat if you feed it all the time, but. Yeah. Dude, this turned out really good, man. Oh, really good food this morning. Mick, what's up, buddy? Really? Right. So what do you got going on today? Today is what, Saturday? I don't know. I have to, uh, nothing official, really. Just fucking gigging it and straightening up and shit like that. Well, the weather sucks here. It's just pouring it's, down it, It's nice. So temperature's nice as fuck, bro, but it's raining. I can't do shit. I can't. Normally, days like this when it's 60 degrees in December, I go to the park, but I'm not going to go to the park and fuck up a pair of shoes. You know what I mean? So, Right. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. The park? What do you do at the park? We just go hiking and shit. We got. We, we live right by the oh Metro. The even Metro Parks is like four minutes south of me, and it's like um, it's a place where back in the ice age, the fucking glaciers carved out a real cool valley and shit. So it's really scenic. No shit. Yeah, man. It's right by the house, bro. You'd love it. You know, I, 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 I hike and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. I have uh, all the hiking gear, tents, everything. I can throw pretty much a week's worth of stuff in my backpack and go in the woods. Nice. I took a backpacking class at uh, in, in college, bro. It was fun, man. We got drunk as fuck, bro. It was awesome. <laughs> oh, dude, I have a Blackstone this big to put in my tent. The world's smallest Blackstone? Yeah. <laughs> two <laughs> two centimeters square, you can cook like a fucking tiny piece of meat in it? It's uh, Well, no, it's a rock. It's black. It's a black stone. It's an actual black stone. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> dude, good show the other day, man, yesterday. Was that yesterday? Which one with uh, Nick Spiegel? Yeah, yeah, it was pretty fun, man. He's a good dude. He's a uh, he lives in San Diego or uh, New York or New, New Mexico, dude. He's always yeah. Been he was an NFL player at one time, right? Mm -hmm. He's a chiropractor now, dude. It's cool shit. Oh, really? Yeah. Straight up back doctor and shit. Well, they make good money, man. Oh yeah, at the old he tech house, his like, own practice. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And as Ed, the old tech guy, I was asking about a YouTube show. He says, I'd love to do it. And he's like, I need to take out the time. And I was like, bro, I, I, I can see that 100%. Because he's got three three kids and shit, and he's fucking married, and he's got a fucking practice. He has no time for a YouTube channel. That's why I had to put him on, put him on at that time. This is the only time to get away from the kids and the wife and the work and stuff. Well, Mojo, yeah. I'm going to get going. So I got things to do this morning because I got a uh, live, hopefully. Cross my fingers. Oh, are, you, are you doing a live? Yeah, well, I'm trying. Well, I posted it on last week, and so I'm gonna try. We postponed it to today, so everything's I'll working so far. Night, I'll let you. How late were you up to last night? Oh, I mean, well, we were on for a couple hours. Then I jumped on uh, Wolfie's. Oh, okay. Then we were, we were me and Mojo here were up until late, and well, he left a little bit earlier than I did. But we were it was up late. until like one thirty, bro. I'm telling you, it was like around one thirty. Yeah. Have you stayed another hour? No, no, actually, you left that one. One, yeah, it wasn't too much longer. Oh, really? Was it later? I think I, I think I went to bed two. I think I jumped wow. off at two. It was late. I know that. Yeah, no, it was really late. All of a sudden, the next thing I know, I woke up like, oh, great, because that body clock, you just like naturally yeah. wake up. It's like, oh. So, yeah, no, because I got to do the live, then I have a, a friend's birthday party. We're going to go hang out somewhere tonight. So, okay, nice. I, 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 I got to get my stuff done this morning. Well, shit, get your gear, get everything squared away, wash your hair, yeah. your face, your balls, and everything. Fucking get you a nice button down, bro. Get out. You'd be, you'd be, you'd be, you'd be, you'd be <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, oh, hell yeah. Yeah. 
Anyways, okay, I'll catch you guys later. See you, Captain. All right, man. Take care. Have a good day, brother. I'll I'll try to look it out for you to, uh, later on. Um, Doritos in the house. Is Dorito? Will Dorito even come up here? Dorito is that guy. I know. Um, where's, uh, where's easily offended Steve? At? He should be up here. Um, who did I just see in here? Um, eight oh five barbecue junkie. Good to see you and Gil. These are all like new people in the, this morning. Yeah, I, guess I should drop my uh, my show link in the thing there and have people. Yeah. talk me up. I yeah, I did make you a moderator, yeah, right? Oh yeah, you were you. Were, I was one of the first mods in your channel, I think. Yeah. Didn't I drop your? Uh, didn't I make you a mod? Oh yeah, you were one of the first mods. I was one of the first mods on your channel. I might have been the yeah. first mod. I think I showed you how to make a mod. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So uh, check his channel out, you guys. Yeah, don't be a square, bro. Check out the STD podcast live. New shows every Friday night, nine thirty. You won't regret it. Trust me. I got famous people on, bro. Famous motherfuckers, bro. Like, I mean, even more famous than Mojo here, bro. And Mojo's um, famous dude. as fuck, dude. Mojo's fucking. He ain't no bitch, bro. He's famous as fuck. I'm famous. You know, I know a lot of people, but I'm not famous on YouTube. Hey, Teresa. I, I see Teresa all over the place. I see her on uh, Dan Anderson streams a lot. Yeah. Oh, Teresa. He's a guitar guy. He's a guitarist. Yeah. She's always a Dan. Her and uh, Lady Perez are always over there. Um, Good stuff. But yeah, so his channel is pretty awesome. You, he just, if you just dropped in, he just uh, interviewed uh, an NFL player. Yeah. And he's a chiropractor now. Yeah, he's a chiropractor now. Well, you can't be an NFL player your whole, your whole life. There's only yeah, a he only played goal. two years. Yeah, he only played two years, bro. Man, kind of one and a half years. Player, you know, there's only a you know. Yeah, oh gosh, are you new or what, dude? Are you that guy not I'm on phone. my phone, you renob. Oh, oh, you're on your phone, but see, I turn that off before I go on, knob. <laughs> I was on my phone because I was going to type in there. Hey, idiot. Look in the base. Oh, were you? Oh, did you get a little cold down there? <laughs> What's up, Joey? I'm chilling, Dre. What's up, buddy? How you feeling? Oh man, just being that guy. Hell yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> so, uh, hey, you had me so confused this. last night, hey, bro. Baby. I was like, baby "What doll. the fuck is that guy?" <laughs> you know, you know what you're being said it is kind of confusing I, I try to put it in quotes so people get it but it's kind of yeah, I, I've never heard that before dude <laughs> that's so funny come here so Mojo did One you second. see it? no not yet okay Broad um, on the, I just wanted to show it say hi to Joey hi Joey hi guys and Mojo put me up to all that shit uh -huh. uh, um what what are you talking about siri oh oh Alexa. that he gave me all the secrets don't call my bitch by another name huh it's Alexis. don't I call my bitch by another name it's alexis he called oh. her siri look at her oh. he's thinking oh. like he's I'm getting sorry, yelled alexis. at right now <laughs> my device my device is a guy's voice because i did do you understand what she just said give me something about don't call her bitch uh another name yeah, she's yeah, saying so you called it Alexa. Siri. Yeah. You called it Siri, not Alexa. Sorry. <laughs> I got Google. Siri. Name is Google. You see what I have right there, you guys? That girl will whoop my ass, man. Most, oh, right. most girls will most girls will whoop your ass. You, you, you wouldn't fight back. You just let them. I mean, if, if a girl beats your ass, you still get titty action. I mean, it's cool. So I don't give a fuck if a chick beats me up. I mean, right. Usually when they come and punch in, their titties are fucking right up on you. So I'm cool with that. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I like boobies, baby. Yeah. Boobies, I love boobies, ex. man. Hey, I didn't I didn't tell you this the other day, but my son was hooking up with a chick in Seattle. Andrew. Yeah, it, 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 wait a minute. Matter? If if no. if the chick's name is Andrew, are you sure it's a chick? Well, Andrew is a female name too, right? <laughs> <laughs> You got it. It took hey, you. Hey, it's got not it. that hey, private. It's no big deal. Because I asked my son to come up on panel, and then I asked him if she had big boobs. And he's and he's like, I don't like big boobs. I like small boobs. Yeah, I remember the last last week. I think it was. 
Yeah. So I wonder if you got, you know, got laid or something. I got guys will whatever. say that they're they want anything that their current girl is is with. Guys Why, like, I, 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 I only like my son needs to get mad. He needs to get laid. <laughs> my son needs to get something. What? What'd you say, Dorito? Sure glad I never had dad rooting for me. <laughs> uh, All I ever got was from my dad was, Atta boy. <coughs> Look at you. Hey, where are you going? She left me. Yeah, that's so, all I uh, ever got from my dad. I didn't look up that, by the way. Oh, you didn't? Do you want me to show it to you now or no? Oh, you can. Well, I, I know you wanted to keep it. It is, but she's a, she just went in the house. Well, this is a channel, dude, and she can look oh, at it. She don't know. She she doesn't do that. Dude. Check it out. out. Check this out. Hurry, come here. The holes for oh. it? Yeah, flip is it around. Is that dude, that is amazing, bro. Put that on your face, dude, it looks like. It fits. That's you, bro. You need to go to a masquerade party. <laughs> Dorito, the bottom jaw. Yeah, cool. It's a new it. uh, it even has the, the wow. holes for the mounting, bro. So oh, you, can make, you can make it a hanger or use it for an actual day of the dead mask. It's going to be hung. Yeah. So it's got the holes so it could be hung. I just got to do a little bit more cleaning and then um, start up the other print. Okay. Which will be no problem. That one, that was the one I was concerned about if it, how it would come out. And it now came the out other perfectly. one is glow in the dark, right? Yeah. Shoot, that don't even need painted, does it? Um, I mean, what do you think? it doesn't. But in the same breath, too, if you want to do designs on it, you know, uh -huh. I would paint it and maybe do the extra accents that they have on all of them. You know what I mean? Right. So that's up to you. Me, myself, I would have painted it silver. Yeah. Oh, silver? Yeah. The, or the, the, so what do you think, man? That's uh, the first one you made, right? That's the first one I made. It's not going to be the only one I can tell. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've already got a couple people that, uh, you know, not on, no. not on YouTube, but a couple people that I sent, pic sent a picture of, and they want one. So. Oh, here I do. I got you all blown up here the whole time. Sorry. Oh, no worries. Sorry, sorry, Joey. That's okay, buddy. It doesn't bother me none. <laughs> you got to look at that fucking guy. Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to let that one ride for a while, Joey. It's funny. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm even going to get Lynch to partake in that fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> That wait guy. Till you, is so wait till you see what he said he did to Squirrel and Kathy. Nice. I can't wait, dude. All I gotta say, all I gotta say to that is Squirrel and uh, Squirrel and 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 he's not Italian. <laughs> can I come over? Can I come over and snuggle with you today? Huh? Motorboat Mojo, like Ooh. I was just gonna go, like, what the fuck are you talking I'm about? I'm talking to my buddy because he's leaving. I asked him if I can come over and snuggle with him today. <laughs> Between him and his wife. Right in the middle. I could be like a sandwich, right? Take your damn dog and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Sorry about that. I shouldn't have used that language on here. Let me rephrase that. Take your dog and get the hell out of here. You and your dog. All right, love you, man. This is what sucks about I'm seeing when you use hairspray to print on the on the bed for stickiness. Uh-huh. All the little tiny main support stuff that adheses or adheres to the to the magnetic bed, you got to run across a little knife to pull the shit up, and the and it's magnetic. So every time you do it, it sticks to the bed. <laughs> That's my buddy. All right.
Check these out, though, Mojo. I'll show you these real quick. Let me finish this. I still got to clean them, though. Yep. Um, get out of there. Get. What is it? Did you show me? No. Hold on a second. Um, I got to get this out. Hops off on other print started real quick. Uh, not good. Not, not yet. Give me a second. I just got to get this other print started because I got to pull up the rest of the glue. I don't want to change the roll. I want to run the roll out. <laughs> yeah, also, too, uh, let's see here. In about a half an hour, uh, the... the American reacts to video. Oh, real? Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Yours in about a half hour? Yep. Shut up. Yep, it's already up. Did you uh, put it in the uh, community? Uh, no. Did you not want to? Um, I guess you go ahead. I don't care. No, that would be you, the community tab on your on your channel. Oh, no, I didn't. I would suggest that, but that's just me because uh, a lot of people need to see that. Hey, I love you, man. Have a good day. Is it? It's going to, yeah, the weather sucks. Um, so that guy there that just left you guys? Uh-huh. That's my buddy. And he, uh, when he first started with Aramark, he transferred from, from San Francisco. And he came. And he's from Chicago. And he's an still asshole. Gotta clean him. You say he's an apple or an asshole? He was like an asshole because he's from Chicago, right? All right. What is it? It's an acorn salt and pepper shaker. Oh, yeah. You were doing those. Yeah. So I straight up. I'm choking on steak right now. Another threaded one. That's crazy. Yeah. Straight up got in a fight with him, told him he's a he's a dick and all this other stuff. And just totally like, you know, management was like, are you guys OK? I mean, it was like a big deal. And we became good buddies now. Now we're like really good buds. Kathy what, you guys, Bates. You guys didn't hey, get Kathy along Bates, before. You come up here? What's that? You guys didn't get along before? Uh, no, in the very beginning, yeah, it was uh, straight up fighting and almost got into a huge fight and everything. Oh wow. Yeah, it was it was pretty intense. All management was like, "Are you guys okay?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm okay. He's a fucking douchebag, you know." Yeah, it was it was ugly, and. Uh, that's enough steak, dude. I only ate like half of that steak. You know, if you want to pop up and say I'm mean to you every fucking time, I'm going to abuse it. Who, who'd she say? Kathy. Yeah, did she? I'm going to abuse the shit out of it every single time. So Dorito is up there as being mean to me. Well, <laughs> I'm a mirror. I reflect. <laughs> Find my hat, Kathy Bates. <sighs> She's the one that doesn't like the hat, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I See, forgot. she come in. She come in and like drink some gasoline and pees on the fire. <laughs> She's like, he is mean to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wait, I don't have my. Wait, I do have it. Right. Big massive violin. Playing my heart bleeds for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was there last night too. Up there, late. thank you, Gertrude. Nice hat. It used to be embroidered with uh Bates something. What yeah. was it? B something. Well, Bates. there was Kathy Bates with all kinds of hearts, and then Master dot dot yeah. dot 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 dot. That's right. Bates. <laughs> Joey, how you feeling, brother? Not Dude, bad, not like, bad. Still on. Uh, still like waiting. Twelve o'clock where Joey is. 
So I ended that, bro. I, I was I was up at seven, so I was I was. It was funny because King Cobra was on when I went to bed, and then when I got up, he was still on. So it was kind of weird. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I didn't want I didn't want to holler at him when I I saw him right before I went to sleep. I was like, gosh, I was like, I don't want to say anything because I was tired. I want to get to sleep. You know, if I holler at him, it'd be like a half hour. Hey, what's up, man? Come on up, and uh, I would feel guilty if he didn't come up. So, but I holler at him. And I saw him in the morning. I was like, Jesus Christ, this motherfucker's still alive. He went like twelve hours. Wow. <clears throat> So how how many hours did he go? You said twelve or? Yeah, he might still be live. Shit, I don't even know. Hey, Streamyard. Hey, listen, bro. Streamyard's going live at twelve oh five with YouTube channel reviews. And listen, and there's a, not many people take advantage of it. They might let you cam up. They they always say, hey, if anybody wants to cam up, talk about their channel. You know, boom. Yep. And then, uh, it's, it's I, a good, uh, good opportunity. I don't know. Did I go up once? He uh he uh did a shout out on me once. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. I, I can't remember what I said because it's not a really the the chat wasn't really high. I you know I asked a couple questions. He you know threw me up there, but it's a it's actually pretty good information, man. Oh yeah, I want because usually they give you good information about like what's upcoming in streams and and they give away shit too. They, they oh yeah, give away a stuff stuff duck and shit like that. Yeah, is the duck stuffed with cash? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, well, it depends what your what your people trade in currency. I mean, if, if they trade in like fucking stuff foam, like if that's your guys' currency, then yeah, technically, I guess. But not many people use stuff foam as a fucking form of currency. No, nope, I want currency. Oh, American greenbacks, huh? Okay. Fuck it, hey, Bob. I'll take absolutely for two hundred. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. This is all about the greenbacks, you said. I'll take absolutely for 200 Is that white stuff on your tree, dude? No. Oh, it's just reflection. What, directly behind me? Yeah. This guy? This tree? Yeah. No, that's called rain. It's raining oh. like shit out here. Oh, okay. Yeah, it sucks out here. Yeah, I, forget, I keep forgetting. You're up in cloud country. It's always depressing. 2.4 million. What does that mean? My brother's still in the house. Jerry, what is up, brother? You, hey, do you want to come up here and say hi? Yeah, so he's down there in Cali. He's uh, actually in uh, in the uh, Bay Area. A new hound. I just oh, linked it right there below your uh, below your post there. That's the link to the stream there live in about five minutes. Not to trample over Mojo shit, but I mean. It's uh, if you look at opportunities to grow, it's definitely there. Definitely take a look. Oh, you're you're yeah, yep. So that's uh, that is Joey's uh. YouTube that's not mine. Channel. That's not mine. I, I'm not running. That. I have no no correlation with that at all. But if you want, that's uh through Streamyard. The, the Streamyard people run that link. So oh, it. is that the Streamyard? Uh, yeah. And what, streamyard what they do? What they do is they do how we do. They drop the link in the chat, and you get to get up there and talk about your channel. So it's a gr it's a grinder. If you you know, be prepared to talk about your channel. But it's a good opportunity to get out there and. You know, poach a couple subs, maybe if you're out there. It's because uh, not many people in the chat participate in the on-screen stuff because they're a little timid. So it's a good opportunity to grow if you're out there and you got a good, you've got a channel. Yeah. So when are they coming on? Uh, about four minutes. Oh wow! So they're coming on really quick. Propane's running out. Oh, listen to that! Did you hear a bloop? Who do we yeah, have? That's Kathy here? Bates. No, that wasn't. The chair. No. no. Who was that? Someone in your basement. Look, bring him up. Yeah, well, he just uh, popped out again. Come on up. Was that guns? Guns and barbecue. What? Guns and barbecue is in the house. Was that you, bro? Come on up if it was. Dude, awesome channel right there, you guys. Okay? You guys see this channel? That's a pretty amazing channel. Man, you guys got to go check it out. Um. A lot of different uh, lives and different things going on. So I think he accidentally came up, tried to come up or something. I don't know. But uh, awesome channel, man. Ooh, these threads are going to be harder to get out. Oh, are they? Yeah, they're so small. Yeah, you know, how did it come out, though? Did, did, did the thread come out pretty good? Uh, I don't know yet. I'm cleaning it. Yeah. I'm glad I printed up several, put it that way. Hey, can you read my shirt there, Joey? 
Yeah, it says uh, chalupas and fupas. They're bigger than chalupa, the faster the tasty. Yeah, bigger than fupa, tastier than chalupa. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's kind of bad. I was told that's bad. Yeah, at this point, dude, you're old enough to where you can just say fuck it to whatever somebody says anytime, all the time, anything. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I yeah. didn't even get that one that you messaged me about the other day until I went back and looked, and I was like, oh, okay. Mojo. What's that, sir? That one you messaged me about the other day uh, with you and your live. I didn't even know what she was talking about until I went back and looked at the live. Oh, did you? Okay. Did you? Is that funny or what? <laughs> yeah. I was like, huh? I know. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, once again, you guys, guns and barbecue. Um, <clears throat> let me uh, throw your link up there. I'm going to throw your link because um, amazing community over there. Um, I've jumped over on his live once or twice and, um, amazing people. So I gotta, I gotta do a shout on out on this guy because super cool, uh, community, you know, and have him come over to ours and checks ours out also. Boats and hose, boats and hose. Oh, no. Boats and, and hose. Hey. All right, so this is – and this uh, channel is actually a really cool channel, you guys. A lot of stuff going on there. You can learn a lot of stuff if you're into firearms or whatever, you know. Not you know me. People... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Well, you saw my uh, safe, huh? Yeah. I have a few. Dude. Do... So that one is $589. It comes with two five-round magazines. Uh-huh. And guess what? What? It's a fixed magazine as well on it. Yeah. Is that sad or what? <laughs> oh, it is. Oh, wait. So it comes go. with two magazines, Sorry but it's about got that. a fixed magazine on it. Right. So here you go. We got guns and barbecue in the house, you guys. How there you, you are. Why don't you uh, do a shout out and tell everybody who you are? Um, well, it, pretty self-explanatory. Guns and barbecue. Um, primarily a two-way activism channel uh, with a little bit of barbecue on the side. Honestly, I've been doing so much of the two-way stuff. Uh, not a lot of barbecue recently. Uh, I'm actually cooking right now for a party. Um, I am clinically blind, so. A lot of people like to go, whoa, what? Because one, how the heck do I shoot? Two, yeah. th they are always curious how the heck I do barbecue. So um, there is that. Uh, and actually, right before I lost my vision, I went and dropped uh, seven grand on a uh, trailer smoker because I was gearing up to start doing catering. And uh, literally two months before – or. or Two months after I bought that smoker is when I lost my vision. I was like, oh, that's impeccable timing. But uh, I still do a little bit of stuff here on the side and whatnot and got asked to cook for a party today. So literally, literally in the middle of doing that. How yeah. did, can, I, can I ask you something? How did, uh, God forbid, how did you lose your vision? Was like a, I was just going to do the same. Oh, yeah. No, it's cool. Um, I had a condition called hydrocephalus, which is where your body stops absorbing brain fluid. And when that happens, fluid has nowhere to go. So it just starts pulling up, putting a lot of pressure on everything. Oof. And uh, one of the parts that it put a lot of pressure on for me was my optic nerves. And it just caused severe nerve damage. Uh, sorry, bro. That sucks, man. That could happen. I could probably happen to anybody. I would imagine that's. Uh... Honestly, um, you'd be amazed. It's very rare. Um, people that typically have hydrocephalus are infants. Okay. So. Uh, it happened when I was 28, so that in itself is very rare. Then having it go to the extent where it damages your optic nerves, uh, from what I'm told, it's even rarer itself, but you know, it can happen. It messed with other stuff too, but the most noticeable uh, life change for me was the vision loss. Now, is there a number on your vision is like 20? Because like my mom, she had she was legally blind in her one eye, and then the one eye was like 20, I don't know, 2200 or some shit. Is that do they got a number on that? I'm like, what can you physically? No, I can't get a vision test that's well enough to gauge what my vision's at. So what they literally do is just 
stand a certain distance from me and say, hey, how many fingers am I holding up? And they just wave them back and forth. And my vision is actually, my left eye is like one third in the outer periphery. And my right eye is, if you looked at it like a clock, it would be the seven o'clock position. Uh, and that's all I've got in the right eye. But uh, now when they do that test, they're about three to six inches away from my face. Oh, before I tell them how many fingers that they have. So shooting wise now, do you shoot with that newer, that newer like phone type scope? No, I need to look into those. But one problem with those is they're super expensive. Yes. Um, now I've seen cheap mounts where they're like, "Hey, you just put your <laughs> phone on it," and I'm like, "I don't know." Yeah, no. That's a lot of recoil, and <laughs> phones aren't designed to absorb that. And I can just see it, uh, you know, damaging the phone in the long run. Now, granted, if you can get your hands on just an old phone that you don't care about which it might be a feasible option, then, you know, that could be a way to go. Uh, overall, I can still see through a scope um, actually pretty well. The problem is the crosshairs and good scopes are so fine, I can't yeah. see the crosshairs themselves. So um, still kind of in a limbo because – Are you using uh, Mill Dot or what are you using? I, I would use whatever I could see at this point. Okay. Um, I'm not picky. I, I wanted to use Mill Dot because Mill Dot stands uh, out. Yeah, literally six months before I lost my vision, I went out, bought a Thompson Center uh, Performance Center long range rifle and 6.5 Creedmoor. Got a Athlon Airy scope, which is about a $850, $900 scope at the time, and slapped that on there. And I was driving truck and everything, so my time to get to the range and whatnot was not. Uh, the best, and so I never even got to shoot the gun before I lost my vision. So, well, that Creed Noir ammo isn't very cheap either. <laughs> that's not terrible. I, I mean, right now it could be better, but uh, I mean, everything could be. Yeah. I mean, I say, I know the last gun show I went to, guys were selling boxes of 30 30 for $75 a box. It just made me want to puke. Wow. Oh, yeah. I, I, I actually got rid of my ARs, and I, that's one thing I held on to is uh, my two two three, my five five six rounds, um, I've actually held on to them um, for that exact reason because everybody's going to start running low, and then people's going to want to buy it, and just like I did on my AR pistols, I'm going to triple my money. Well, if, you, if you're not go actively going to the range or you're not actively hunting and stuff like that, I mean, if you're just using a gun for personal home protection – fire for personal protection you only really need one box of rounds i mean it's not like you know you need a fucking depending right right it depends what you need it for yeah like i got, I got like two boxes of ammo it's more i'm more than like you're never gonna shoot the damn thing in anger i, I know range. i don't want just one box of ammo for once one. every five years i go to the range i mean granted if you know if something happened i get another box but I mean, if something happened to that point i mean we got bigger issues to worry about than where my next box of ammo is coming from let's be real <laughs> so... yep. yeah i mean it's one of those deals where uh, you know, there are those people that they go out, they buy a firearm, they take it out, they shoot it once, okay, and they throw it in a drawer, and that's where it's going to stay until that's me. God forbid the time is ever needed. That's me. That's, <laughs> that's my three fifty seven right there, dude. I haven't even fired it. I got a, I got a, a smoke wagon, and oh, I yeah. haven't, even, I haven't even fired the damn thing just because I like it so much. It's such a good looking gun, dude. It's, oh, um, yeah. it, it's got the matte finish with the pearl handle. Yes, yes. Oh my so, god. Yeah, it's just like my 1911. I bought a uh, uh, Charter Arms 1911, okay? Now, people talk smack about them, but that one is built off the same platform that they built the Springfield one. Yeah, and that's okay? the thing. I mean, so it's, got the, it's got the same tolerances. It's made in, in, the, in the Philippines because they have that old machinery. So that gun is matte black. It's a paratrooper model. It's matte black. I got the, the the packing mark grip on it. Everything, dude. That thing, I got a compensator the whole night. Now, that one, I've ran maybe uh, about six, 700 rounds through because that was the gun that I always grabbed out at the last last point in time at the range, pulled that sucker out, went bam, 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 bam. Okay, put it back up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I'm, gonna jump, I'm gonna jump, guys. I'll holler at you, Mojo. Thanks for having me up, brother. Hey, hey wait, hold up, one, one second. Are you taking off? You yeah, taking yeah, off? Yeah, yeah. 
All right, Joey. Hey, take it easy, man. <clears throat> Thanks for stopping by again, right, brother. Mr. Hodge, Hodge. Nice to meet you. Good to barbecue. I'll see you, you know. later, you. Joey. Yeah, he wants to go check out uh, StreamYard, I think. Yeah. But, John, yeah, that's, a lot John's of people barbecue, uh, uh, What's your name again? John. John. Hey, you yeah. know what? I really appreciate you coming up, brother. Man, pretty amazing. I just want to say, you know, some people, when they lose something, um, it's, you know, they just kind of give up on life, right? And look at what you're doing, you know. You're, you're still barbecuing. You're cooking for some people today. And I just want to do, you know, dude, that's amazing. Well, I appreciate it and say, and the thing is, uh, I get that from a lot of people. And I'm like, oh, man, I know you do. If you could have sure. been there when everything first happened, uh, it, it was it was pretty dark. I'm not saying like I was looking to off myself or anything. Don't don't take it that no, way. But, no, 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 um, not at all. For sure. Because like my vision loss, it wasn't something that happened over a pro prolonged period of time. I went from um, like like I said, I, I drove trucks. So I, I was putting in about a uh, 130,000 miles a year at wow. that time. And I first noticed something was going wrong because my vision would just kind of dim on me and it would last a few seconds. And I, I just thought, Oh, you're getting tired. I pull over, you know, things like that. And right. I ignored, ignored it until about a month or for about a month until I went to my doctor. Cause I just had a regular uh, checkup. Yeah. And she's like, "Yeah, we'll get you an MRI." And that, you know, everything went from there. Yeah. And for about uh, a month after that uh, is when I got cut open to have the first brain surgery. Two a two weeks after that is when the vision loss got really bad. And within a week, I went from being able to drive to finger vision at five feet, and then over that next year, um, finger vision from five feet down to three to six inches. That is yeah. so crazy. And honestly, wow. I don't even know how fast the five feet went because when I went back, they're like, so how's your vision? You seeing any improvement, anything like that? I'm like, I think it's about the same. And it's just one of those deals, you know, um, you jump on the scale the one day, you know, like 20 friggin' pounds. How did I, did I gain 20 pounds? But, you know, maybe you did it over six months. You just, you never notice because right. of that period of time. And so going from that five to that, uh, three to six, or well, the five feet to three to six inches. It happened over such a period of time. I didn't really notice, but um, going from uh, with my glasses, I had fifteen twenty vision, uh, and going from that to having vision only at five feet uh, was a pretty significant change in a week. Yeah, that's so crazy. Yeah. Um, can it, can it, can there be a reverse on it or is that, that's it? It just damaged it. That it's, that, that's it. Um, there's no technology right now to operate on your optic nerves. Uh, they so are working on it though. They and they, they are, are working very vigilant on it. I will say that. Um, and I think but, that's awesome. They, that's one industry in the medical industry that I can honestly say strives to do better. Yes. Yep. You know. That, that's for sure, because, it, you know, no comparison or anything like that, but my daughter, when she was, when she was little, before she could even speak, she actually, we got her glasses, because she had uh, an eye that was not only going lazy, but it was creating blur in her vision, and we didn't yeah. know that till we took her to the eye doctor, and the eye doctor gave her some tests, and she wasn't even able to speak, but they could figure out exactly what was wrong with her eyes, Yeah. Yeah, I thought that that was one of the best things in the world, dude. I mean, she still wears her glasses. Her her prescription is way down. She no longer has a lazy eye. And the blurry stuff, like, I, I think it was more of her hyperness was what happened with the lazy eye was when she'd get real excited and kind of do this and, and blur her vision. So now she has a real light prescription. And the, the eye doctor said within a year or maybe a year and a half, she won't have to wear glasses anymore. Yeah, I've got a sister that's uh, about 16 years younger than me, and she had a real bad lazy eye. And whenever she would get tired, especially, like, that's when it would really happen. But you just see her eye just wander. Like, the other one's staying where it's supposed to, and the other one would just be, like, all the way to the right. Yeah, and that's so whenever, how... whenever that would happen, I'd just tap her in the forehead, and my mom would yell at me, stop that. And I was like, it <laughs> brought it back. Yeah, my, my daughter gets that way when she gets hyper. 
<laughs> she starts getting excited. Her eye, her, I, I was the same way when I was a kid. She goes real buggy. Yep. So check it out, Mojo. Oh, did you fix it? Nice. It's, so I, it's not completely you, clean, but look. I don't know if uh, if John can see that or not, but why don't you explain what you're showing there? These guys and their site privilege, I tell you. It's a, yeah. it, it's a, uh, here you go. I don't, it's a salt and pepper sh shaker. It's a, oh, let me uh, blow you up. Oh, Sorry. Yeah, Sorry about I'm that. zooming in right now. Let's say it's a salt and pepper shaker. It's an acorn. Oh, okay. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. So, and it's threaded. Check it out. Oh, nice. it. I still got to clean the threads, but more, but it's threaded. Now, did you 3D print that or? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Yep. Dang. <laughs> you can't it. get it yeah, open. <laughs> no, it's coming. I just got to clean the threads, dude, better. Yeah. They're not completely cleaned. So it's not wanting to cooperate yet. See, Mojo? Dude, that's so cool. Yeah. It just it blows my mind what those 3D printers can do, man. You know? Well, I, I like doing little things. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I, I don't have the patience. Like the, that that mask that took a, that's about the length of time I want to run stuff. Hey Dorito. Yeah. <laughs> She's out here cleaning my deck right now. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> no, she didn't hear. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, he just made a couple of things for me, John, that are uh, pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. And say, Here, uh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I mean, no, I'm blowing this up. What he's showing, oh. yeah. I've actually thought about getting a 3D printer, and I mean, that's something I never even thought of. Uh, was you know, just doing little things like that, like salt and pepper. That man, that is freaking sweet in the detail. In there. Yeah, yeah I, I told my wife I want one when I move, when I sell this house and move, I think I'm going to buy one, yeah. When you do, I'll send you the right direction, bro. Trust okay. me. You'll you'll save you'll save money. But uh it's gotta be fun, you know, just making just different whatever, you know. It whatever is fun, but sometimes the cleaning can be tedious. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, after you uh print something out? Yeah, cleaning the print, yeah. It can be tedious. Yeah, well, that's just like anything, you know. It's probably like a hard substance that you got to scrape off, I would imagine. Yeah, but you're talking to a guy with ADD. Yeah. Oh, I know. So, <laughs> and, and what am I? Well, I don't know if you have ADD uh, or not. Oh, dude, I am so up there. Yeah, you know that. <laughs> so you said you went back and looked at that video. You saw what I was talking about. <laughs> yeah. <mean. laughs> That's not ADD. That's fucking stepping on your tongue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dorito, fun. Dorito, make those for my mojo. <laughs> Kathy Bates is still down there, huh? I'm surprised she hasn't come up here. <laughs> That's <laughs> she said you're not nice to her, huh? Yeah, yeah. She's creating a she's creating a lynch mob. <laughs> <laughs> so uh Oh, we got to go? Okay. Um, what time is your video coming out again? Nine minutes. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Nice. I can't wait. That's, dude. <laughs> you should have put that in the community tab. I'm telling yeah. you. That's all right, though. I don't want to tell you what to do with your stuff, right? It's not yeah, my yeah. day. <laughs> so, uh, John, what do you got? Oh, so you're cooking. How many people are you cooking for today, John? Um, I was told it's a party for about 35 people or so. Uh, yeah. I just have to do some uh, pulled pork and uh, doing some smoked uh, barbecue deviled eggs. Nice. Nice. Yep, yep. So uh, how long on the pork? How long has it been cook cooking for? Oh, it's been going since uh, four in the morning. Um, yeah. Hopefully it'll be done here soon because I plan on leaving about an hour. Um, yeah. But... With the weather today, uh, smoker wasn't running quite as efficiently as I would have liked it. So um, now I'm like, eh, maybe I should have put it on at three. But uh, you know, wasn't thinking about 
that it was supposed to rain or anything. You know, one of those deals where you should check the weather, but they did, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so all together, I guess if I put it on at three, it'd be about 10 hour cook. Yeah. Or at four, um, uh, nine hour cook, sorry. Nice. I did my last one I cooked, I uh, smoked it on my Kamado style grill for about two or three hours. Yep. And then slapped it in a sous vide for oh, 20, 23 hours, I want to say 22 hours. Yeah. Man, when that was done, that bone just kind of pulled off like it was so beautiful, man. Yeah, I've been hearing all sorts of things about that sous vide stuff. Um, you were out in the text chat that one night uh, BSing with my buddy Moo, who um, is on my barbecue live chat, uh, like my co-host on Saturdays. And uh, he does all kinds of stuff with that CV. Yeah, I, I, I actually love it. And then on the other hand, it's kind of nice to grill also. But yep. that sous vide is actually, I, like I, I used it this morning on this Saturday morning cook, right? So I, um, I took some, I marinated some steaks, some cheap steaks, slapped them in the sous vide for about two hours. And then seared them on my uh, barbecue at 600 degrees, and I tell you what, they were pretty amazing. They were they turned out really nice. Man, I got to uh, I got to pop off. I got to yeah, do some paperwork. I'm uh, I got to get going here. My wife is calling me. She wants to go and take care of something for Christmas and all that stuff too. But, well, there you um, go. Kick his ass, Mrs. Mojo. Kick his ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she she will. Um, hey, everybody out there, uh, this guy's channel is super amazing. Guns and Barbecue, go check it out. I threw a link in the, in the chat there. Um, go check his stuff out. Really neat community, man. These people over there, Dorito, are pretty awesome people over there. Um, I got if you. Gun, if gun, I just rung the bell, bro. Okay, cool. Um, Ooh, Smith & Wesson 329. Ooh. Yeah, make sure... Make sure you leave a comment one of his videos too, so YouTube doesn't throw your stuff away, Dorito. Uh, um, thanks, Dad. Right I'll get right on it. I've got that live chat tonight at nine thirty for the barbecue show. So if either one of you guys want to jump in there, uh, okay. you're more than welcome. If I catch you out that out in the um, text chat there, or well, actually, uh, Mojo, I've got you on Instagram now, so I'll I can just shoot you the. Uh, okay. Link on Instagram and Dorito. Um, if you have Instagram or anything, uh, follow me there, and I'll follow you back, and I can shoot you the link there if you want to jump in. Or yeah, uh, Mo Mojo, shoot it to me. I actually got to bone out, and take care of a couple of things. I'm just looking at this picture. You you love your Magpul stuff, huh? That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not honest. I, I've actually only got uh, two guns with uh, Mag Magpul anything on it. Um, I got plenty of Magpul mags. Yeah. Well, I, I just noticed you got the brown, the brown. So if you got the, if, if you got the brown, you actually thought about it. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that, was, <laughs> that one there was my first ever AR build. Yeah. Cause I actually got a, I, I got a Mossberg uh, persuader that, that I upgraded the hell out of. I put the ATI, uh, the ATI recoil stock on it and put all tan hardware on it. So yeah. that's why I'm saying I know about the Magpul stuff. Cause you think about it when it's tan. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, Friggin' so. the FDE, it, it just looks so darn good. Yeah, yeah, and you debate before it goes on the gun. You're like, when you're ordering it, is this going to look good on there? Should I go with the green? If I'm going to go with the brown, I might as well go with the green. You know, exactly. you do that. Yeah. And the green uh, looks great, too, but. <laughs> yeah, it, it really does. But I um, like the I like the desert, ca the desert camo color better anyways, so. Yep. I just right, saw guys. your uh, I just saw your private chat just now, <laughs> John. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's funny. All right, everybody out there in the chat, you know I love you guys. Thank you for coming. Do me a Later, favor, John. go buy somebody See a ya. cup of coffee and uh, put a smile on somebody's face. You know that's what we need. We need more smiles on people's faces in this world that we live in. John, amazing individual right here. Thank you for stopping in, brother. I appreciate it. Um, I appreciate he's going to be on tonight at nine o'clock. Eight o'clock, what time? Uh, 9.30 Eastern. 9.30 Eastern time. Go check out his channel. It's pretty, uh, really uh, awesome uh, lives that they have going on over there, too. 
Thank you again, everybody. I hope everybody has, is going to have a happy holidays, wonderful holidays, and uh, good things. And I will see you guys on the next cook.